Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I believe this is video 12 or something. But what we're going to be doing in this video is exploiting VNC over port 5900. So if you guys are new to the channel, please welcome, like, subscribe, share. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so as you see here on my, on my screen right here, we are running an MF scan against 5900, which is the default port for VNC. And what is VNC? VNC stands for Virtual Network Computing. That enables you to control other people's computers, sort of like TeamViewer or LogMeIn or any Connect or any of these kind of technologies that you can remote into someone's computer, right? Over a network connection, right? So what we have here is the Nmap scan. We can see that port 5900 is open and it's running the service of VNC. So what this tells me is I can probably try to see if we can exploit this. But before we go ahead and start exploiting anything, let's see if it's susceptible to a vulnerability. All right, so let's go ahead and just do file, new tab, and let's pop open a new tab and go the other way and open up the great MSF console. So once we have MSF console set up and running, what we'll do is search for a VNC. And what we'll do is look for a VNC login module. And I'm sure, I think, I've if I remember correctly, it's on auxiliary. So we can use this auxiliary to test and see if we can uh, find any credentials or any logon successes or any successful logins. All right, so let's go ahead and just do control L and let's go ahead and search for uh, VNC underscore login. Okay, so right here we have auxiliary scanner VNC login, right? So let's go ahead and use zero. So now we can do show options here and we have a boatload of information. So the main information that we want here is we want to set up the, our host to our, Metas, our Metasploitable. And we have a password file here. This password is to test the file containing passwords one per line, right? So what is this saying? In this file right here has a list of passwords then it's gonna go ahead and run against our test, right? And what we're gonna do is we have to set up a username and the username is blank, but we are gonna uh, supply a username, which is root, right? Root is King Kong in Linux, right? So let's go ahead and just do set our host. And my our host is 10.0.200.5. Okay, whoops, dot five. All right, and then we're gonna do head, we're gonna go ahead and set uh, user name to root. And I think that should be good. Let's go ahead and just do a quick show options to make sure everything is good to go. Start from the start from the bottom, now we're here. Right, so start from the top, now we can then go down. So our host, we have 10.0.200.5, so we're good there. And if you come down here, username that we supplied is going to be root. And this is a, a specific username to authenticate, right? So let's just go ahead and just run it. And boom, we have 100% complete. So this information, you know, again, get used to that documentation, you know, that snippets and pictures and all that stuff because clients love pictures, right? Like, so you can take a quick snippet of this and say, hey, Mr. Client or Miss Client or Client, whatever. You know, you guys are running a VNC server inside your environment. We were able to use a default login and a password list that we have, blah, blah, blah. And we were able to find password as a password and root as the user. So what is that saying to me? That's saying, oh man, let's get rid of VNC because VNC is super old and we shouldn't be running that in the first place, right? So now what we can do is run VNC viewer inside of Kali Linux and authenticate with the credentials that we found, right? So let's go back here to our first tab and do VNC viewer to our IP address, right? And then it says connected, boom, we're good here. And now it's gonna be performing a regular VNC authentication. And then the password is password. And boom, we are in. So now we have a VNC connection to our VNC, uh, Metasploitable 2 machine. So pretty much this was 
a nice and easy exploit to learn, to do, to see, to demo, to do all that good stuff. So you can come in here and you can do an LS. Obviously it's super small. I don't know if I can zoom that in. No, I don't think so. All right, but you get the point. Now, if this was a real assessment, right, you would take a snippet of this and say, look, I was able to get into your machine. Your machine was susceptible to this vulnerability. Please patch this. And then they would go and remediate it and get the, the blue teaming or the patching team or whoever is going to upgrade or eliminate VNC on that network. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it was informative. Hopefully it was straightforward, easy to follow. Remember, please like, subscribe, share. And until next time, have an awesome day and be good. Take care.